Hey guys, welcome back to Clubhouse Kids. So today's video, I want to go over all the deductions we can take as daycare providers for the holiday Halloween. So if you're interested in that, stick around. If you are a child care provider and you have a Halloween party within your daycare, you can have the kids wear their Halloween costumes, you can have special treats, special activities, and all the stuff that you purchase for those parties are 100% deductible on your taxes. So most providers know that, but um, what I'm going to go over is additional deductions you can take um, for the holiday Halloween. So if you um, participate also in trick-or-treating, and so you have trick-or-treaters coming up to your house and you're giving them treats, um, I'm going to show you how you can deduct those expenses as well. So you are allowed to deduct advertising expenses for your daycare. And so how I've always done is I've used Halloween as an advertising uh, deduction for my daycare. So I'm going to advertise that my home is a home daycare. So when, uh, you know, trick-or-treaters are coming up to my door with their parents, I can say, you know, oh, I have a home daycare, or I can have a sign in my door that shows that I have a home daycare. Uh, what I've always done is pass out business cards on that night. Um, so here's my business cards, and I will just kind of give them a card with their candy. Um, and then if you buy uh, like a pumpkin for your front porch, if you decorate your front porch um, for the trick-or-treaters, um, all this stuff can be 100% deductible on your taxes. Now, if you just do trick-or-treating and you don't tell um, anyone that you're a home daycare or you don't have a sign out or anything like that, then you can't deduct any of this. So you do have to use it as an advertising activity in order to be able to get the deductions. So if you have spots open in your daycare, if you know that you're gonna have uh, potential spots opening up you know, in the next six months, it's just a really great way to um, build your waiting list for your daycare and really just get your name out there that you're that you're providing daycare in your home. So it's not really like everyone that's coming up to your door, they might not need daycare, but usually everybody knows somebody who is looking for care. Okay, so I thought I'd just kind of go over what I'm doing this year. So I did talk about when kids come up to the door with their parents, I do hand out my business cards. Um, and then at Costco this year, over in the Christmas section, they had Play-Doh. And so I do like to always have uh, one candy option and then one non-candy option. And these were $9.99 for 50 of them over in the holiday section um, at Costco. And so it's, this is a really great deal, I think, for trick-or-treaters. So I have a basket of Play-Doh and then the other basket... And then my candy I'm giving out this year are um, Airheads. So that will all be 100% deductible on my taxes. Also, um, the porch decoration. So I did get a pumpkin. Um, we're going to play some music. So something else to keep in mind, since you are advertising yourself as a daycare, you know, you're catering to kids zero to five. And so... Um, with the decorations that you choose to decorate your front porch with, with the costume that you choose yourself to wear, uh, just keep in mind, like, is this daycare appropriate? So with the decorations, I really tend to go towards um, stuff that's not scary, uh, just more like just fun pumpkins. And then also the music. So music is a great thing to be playing. It's very inviting to the kids, um, but not like the scary, you know, dragging chains or something like that that's not really going to uh, tell everyone like hey like drop your two-year-old off with me for music my absolute favorite thing to play and I actually play this in my daycare too this month is uh, we sing for Halloween and it's a CD it's probably one of the few CDs I play I don't have a lot of CDs anymore I like to stream music but this we sing for Halloween um, is a really great uh, Halloween CD it's nothing scary it's all about pumpkins or jack-o-lanterns or you know spiders or something like that they're just very all kid-friendly songs so that would be a great option to play. Um, I also like to stream Pandora. So on Pandora I found a station called a Disney Halloween and so that's a great one to play. Uh, there's nothing scary on that channel. Um, and then Amazon, I had, a, I had a really tough time finding stuff because I do like to stream through like Alexa. So if you guys have any ideas, um, Halloween like kid-friendly playlists that you have been playing through Amazon Music, uh, 
comment below. Um, so, because I have not been able to find anything good on that. Okay, so that is about it. Um, any questions that you guys have? I use Red Leaf Press to organize all my tax stuff. And so all my Halloween stuff goes into the advertising section of my Red Leaf Press like calendar keeper. And I just really want to encourage you to take all those deductions that you can. That is uh, the one way that really helps save not having to pay into uh, taxes at the end of the year. So I hope that this video is helpful and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.